In quantum mechanics, the block sphere is a geometrical representation of the pure state space of a two-level quantum mechanical system, named after the physicist Felix Bloch. Quantum mechanics is mathematically formulated in Hilbert space or projective Hilbert space. The space of pure states of a quantum system is given by the one-dimensional subspaces of the corresponding Hilbert space. For a two-dimensional Hilbert space, this is simply the complex projective line A unregistered trademark 1. This is the block sphere. The block sphere is a unit 2 sphere, with each pair of antipodal points corresponding to mutually orthogonal state vectors. The north and south poles of the block sphere are typically chosen to correspond to the standard basis vectors and, respectively, which in turn might correspond for example to the spin-up and spin-down states of an electron. This choice is arbitrary, however. The points on the surface of the sphere correspond to the pure states of the system, whereas the interior points correspond to the mixed states. The block sphere may be generalized to an n-level quantum system but then the visualization is less useful. In optics, the block sphere is also known as the Poincaré copyright sphere and specifically represents different types of polarizations. Six common polarization types exist and are called Jones vectors. The natural metric on the block sphere is the Fubinia Euro study metric. The mapping from the unit 3 sphere and the two dimensional state space A2 to the block sphere is the hot vibration. Definition Given an orthonormal basis, any pure state of a two level quantum system can be written as a superposition of the basis vectors and, where the coefficient or amount of each basis vector is a complex number. Since only the relative phase between the coefficients of the two basis vectors has any physical meaning, we can take the coefficient of to be real and non negative. We also know from quantum mechanics that the total probability of the system has to be 1, or equivalently. Given this constraint, we can write using the following representation, where and. Except in the case where is one of the ket vectors or, the representation is unique. The parameters and, reinterpreted as spherical coordinates, specify a point. On the unit sphere in. For mixed states, one needs to consider the density operator. Any two-dimensional density operator can be expanded using the identity in the Hermitian, traceless Pauli matrices, where is called the block vector of the system. It is this vector that indicates the point within the sphere that corresponds to a given mixed state. The eigenvalues of a given by. As density operators must be positive semi-definite, we have. For pure states we must have. In accordance with the previous result. Hence the surface of the block sphere represents all the pure states of a two-dimensional quantum system, whereas the interior corresponds to all the mixed states. U, V, W representation, the block vector can be represented in the following basis, with reference to the density operator. This basis is often used in laser theory, where is known as the population inversion. Pure states, consider an n-level quantum mechanical system. This system is described by an n-dimensional Hilbert space Hn. The pure state space is by definition the set of one-dimensional rays of Hn. Theorem. Let U, N, be the Lie group of unitary matrices of size N. Then the pure state space of Hn can be identified with a compact cassette space. To prove this fact, note that there is a natural group action of U, N, on the set of states of Hn. This action is continuous and transitive on the pure states. For any state, the isotropy group of, such that, is isomorphic to the product group. In linear algebra terms, this can be justified as follows. Any of u, n, that leaves invariant must have as an eigenvector. Since the corresponding eigenvalue must be a complex number of the modulus 1, this gives the u, 1, factor of the isotropy group. The other part of the isotropy group is parametrized by the unitary matrices on the orthogonal complement of, which is isomorphic to U, N, 1. From this the assertion of the theorem follows from basic facts about transitive group actions of compact groups. The important fact to note above is that the unitary group acts transitively on pure states. Now the dimension of U, N, is N2. This is easy to see since the exponential map. 
is a local homeomorphism from the space of self-adjoint complex matrices to U, N. The space of self-adjoint complex matrices has real dimension N2. Corollary. The real dimension of the pure state space of Hn is 2Na2. In fact, let us apply this to consider the real dimension of an M-Kerbit quantum register. The corresponding Hilbert space has dimension 2M. Corollary. The real dimension of the pure state space of an M-Kerbit quantum register is 2M plus 1A2. Density operators, formulations of quantum mechanics in terms of pure states are adequate for isolated systems. In general quantum mechanical systems need to be described in terms of density operators. However, while the block sphere parameterizes not only pure states but mixed states for two-level systems, for states of higher dimensions there is difficulty in extending this to mixed states. The topological description is complicated by the fact that the unitary group does not act transitively on density operators. The orbits moreover are extremely diverse as follows from the following observation, theorem. Suppose A is a density operator on an n-level quantum mechanical system whose distinct eigenvalues are I1 quarter 1, I1 quarter k with multiplicities n1, nk. Then the group of unitary operators V such that VAV equals A is isomorphic to. In particular the orbit of A is isomorphic to. We note here that. In the literature, one can find other parameterizations of states that do generalize to dimensions higher than 2. See also, specific implementations of the block sphere are enumerated under the Kerbit article. Atomic electron transition, gyrovector space. References <laughs>